Good morning. Good morning. Sorry about that. We had a little technical difficulties there. Uh, something I've never had happen before. So I had to restart the program. Only way I knew how to get the audio to work. But I'm glad that you're here with me. This is Pastor Chris Hallett, and this is your Summit Heights Saturday update. And uh, thank you for joining me. Sorry we missed last week. We had uh, uh, Roz, you know, my wife Roz, she was uh, having some health issues, and she's doing better, and everything's great. So uh, just uh, uh, thank you for your patience with us uh, last week. Okay, this week, got a lot going on. want to share with you what's happening. We're excited because we are returning to in-person worship tomorrow. We will be worshiping in our sanctuary at 1045 a.m. tomorrow. Now, to prepare for, for this re-entry into in-person worship, uh, we want to share with you some of the safety information, some of the things that we're doing to keep everyone safe. And obviously, we need your cooperation to help make worship as safe and healthy for everyone as we possibly uh, can make it. So uh, we're encouraging if you're we're encouraging you that if you are in a a vulnerable population, that you would uh, stay home and, and and participate online. Uh, if you are sick in any way, shape, or form, because there are lots of different uh, ways that this COVID manifests itself, just just be careful, stay home, isolate, quarantine yourself. Don't uh, don't come to worship tomorrow if you're sick. We want you to stay home and take care of yourself, and also help take care of others by not sharing uh, your germs, potential germs, with other people. So uh, if you do come, we're going to be taking temperatures at the door like we have have done in the past. We have ample hand sanitizer. We're cleaning with disinfectant following every time the building is occupied. Obviously, we want you to wear a mask, ask you to wear a mask. That's mandatory for being inside the building uh, to wear a mask. And we're practicing physical distancing. Now, now reminder, it's it's the challenging times for physical distancing are... Um, are during the gathering and the scattering time. When we get, when we show up to church, and then when we're leaving the building, those are the times when we're having a little bit of a challenge with with physical distancing. So just uh, just ask that as the church gathers to worship, and as we scatter to serve God's mission out in the world, uh, that that in our narthex and in our parking lot, we're maintaining that social distancing, that physical distancing. We're not hanging out. We're not hugging. We're not doing those things that we normally would like to do, obviously. Uh, but because of this pandemic, we want to make sure we're keeping everybody safe. Uh, so those are the things we're doing to watch over one another in love during this uh, time of pandemic. Now, tomorrow, if you do come to worship, you will be able to pick up your offering envelopes. And uh, these envelopes are uh, the same as we used last year, except for they don't have a number on them. They're not numbered, but they have a date for every Sunday in 2021. So you can pick those up. Make sure when you do use them to uh, write your name on them so that we can keep up with that. Um, You can pick these up tomorrow in worship. You can drop by the church office this week, Monday through Wednesday, 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m., or you can uh, pick them up next Sunday, December the 27th. If you can't get by, if you can't get by here to pick up your envelopes, let us know and we'll be sure to we'll be sure to get them to you. Now, if you're not comfortable coming by the church, that's absolutely fine. If you're not comfortable coming to in-person worship, we understand. We want to encourage you to stay home. We have worked very, very hard to make online worship an experience that's meaningful and high quality. Uh, so if you can't be in person, we encourage you to join us online tomorrow. You can join us online at 1045 at Summit Heights dot online dot church that's where we really encourage you to go uh, to worship with us online that online platform it's really really nice got a lot of neat features that we uh, like to use and to connect with you and chat and there's a bulletin and all that good stuff Uh, also we'll be on facebook live and we will be on uh, youtube live so you can join us in those three different places the online platform facebook live 
and YouTube Live. Tomorrow we're wrapping up our series, Born to Set Thy People Free, Songs of Advent. These are songs of anticipation, of hope, of transformation as we not only wait for Jesus' return, but also participate in the building of the kingdom and hasten his return. Last Sunday we dealt with the, uh, we talked about the oldest Advent, or the newest, sorry, (laughs) the newest Advent hymn that's in our hymnal. This Sunday, we're going to talk about the oldest Advent hymn that's in our hymnal. It's so old, we don't even know who wrote it. It's O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. So I hope you'll join us either in person or online tomorrow morning at 1045 uh, for worship. And then, of course, this is the week that we celebrate Christmas. It's what we've been anticipating, we've been longing for, is this time of, of celebrating the incarnation of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And so this uh, Christmas Eve, which is Thursday evening, we're, we're going to have a, com- a Christmas Eve communion service at 5 p.m. This service will be both in person and online. And then, of course, if you can't join us at 5 p.m., either in person or online, the worship service will be on our online church platform. It will be on YouTube, and it will be on Facebook for you to go back and view that service later in the evening or the next day whenever uh, it's convenient for you. It will be live at 5 o'clock. We will be here in person at 5 o'clock, and then it will be available uh, later. Okay, do me a favor. Uh, Thanks for being here. Like and share this video. Uh, Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're on YouTube. Uh, Share these videos. These are one of the ways that you can help us spread the word is by liking and sharing our videos. Uh, If you're on our Facebook, if you're on Facebook, then make sure you like our Facebook page. And if again, if you're on YouTube, be sure and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on anything. Okay. Thanks for joining me today. Sorry about that hiccup at the beginning. Um, Hope to see you tomorrow online for worship. Have a blessed day.